Abra, the PSI Pokemon. Using its abilities to read minds, it will... I, I, I clicked the button before I read the last word. It will know of impending danger and teleport to save you. Would you like to nickname Abra? Of course. Now, there's only one name appropriate for the monster that Abra will become. And that's our favorite buddy. I'm not here talking about two scoops. Two scoops! Alright, now with that said, let's take a look at Abra. So, a lot of people know, in Gen 1, psychic types are fucking overpowered. Mainly because of two things, especially Abra. Mainly because of two things. One, Abra has a pretty good goddamn speed stat, right? But that speed stat is only secondary to its highest fuck special. Because there is no uh, di differentiation, I don't even know if I said that word correctly. I had like a stroke saying it. Uh, because there's no difference between special attack and special defense and it's used just for one stat, psychic types naturally will have a high special. They will be lower in the defense department, but their speed makes up for that because all you need to do is get in there and fucking hit them with a fucking uh, psychic move, and it's done, right? Most Pokemon in Gen 1 don't really have as good as special stats as um, psychic types do. With that said, there is a counter to psychic types, being ghost-type Pokemon. The only problem is that the only ghost Pokemon in... Gen 1 is Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. There's a problem with that. Their second typing is Poison. They are Ghost Poison Pokemon. And since Gen 1 base its super effective attacks on the second typing, Poison being weak to Psychic type, Psychic types do special, do, you know, they have special effect on the only Ghost Pokemon in the game. Not only not only that that is the fucking, like, problem with ghost types in Gen 1, also, there is an error in the game. An error in the coding of the game, which, I mean, for all intents and purposes, Pokemon's a pretty big game to put into a Game Boy cartridge. It's amazing that the game even fucking plays the way it does now. The error in the programming is that ghost type are supposed to be super effective against psychic type. Well, the problem is there's an, the way it's programmed, ghost types don't affect psychic types at all. So ghost types are useless against psychic types. And it's really funny because there are NPCs in the game that tell you that ghost types are super effective against psychic types. And on top of all that, there's only two ghost type maybe three ghost type moves i'm not sure if confuse ray is in gen one but confuse ray is a defensive move which just confuses the target right you know that's whatever who cares um the other move is lick i believe which is a which is really funny because i i think ghost types are supposed to be special attackers but lick is a physical attack Right? I'm not sure about that, don't quote me on that, but Lick is pretty much useless anyways, because it's not going to affect the Psychic type anyways. And the other move being Nightshade, which does a set amount of damage. Ghost types are almost completely useless in this game. Well, their typing is completely useless, because since they're not that useful in that regard, it leads people to use the Gengar family tree as basically TM monsters. They are very versatile with learning TMs and HMs and stuff like that. So people would teach their Gengar Thunder, fucking Fire Blast, maybe not Fire Blast, but you know, you get the idea, right? They would teach them the strong TM moves that they would be able to learn. But for the most part, if you want a ghost type in Gen 1, just say no. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Now, 
What's really great about Abra here is that Abra, you may say, well, how the fuck do I level up Abra, right? Unfortunately, you're going to have to use the same method that you used for goddamn Magikarp. Until it learns until it learns its first move, which is Confusion, I think, which is a psychic attacking move, so it's a special attack move, right? And it does a way better job at defending itself than Magikarp does. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Abra evolves at level 20. So what I'm going to do is... Actually, we don't really need to, uh... We don't really need to grind with Abra right now. Well, I'm gonna do it later anyways. Eh. Do I want to do that now? No, I think we can, uh... I think we can move on. Right. Also, while I was looking for Abra, some of my Pokemon leveled up, mainly being uh, Spearow. Right? Spearow leveled up a little bit. So I'm gonna save my game, because we just got a goddamn Abra. Now, be warned, Abra is also a trading Pokemon. In order to get its, you know, its last um, evolution, you need to trade it. Which, I am gonna have to finagle some wires in order to do that. So, anyways, time to make our way to Bill's house. Psychic types are also super effective against fighting types, right? But again, since they have a low defense stat, they're kind of glass cannons. And since Abra can't really attack right now, HM Bitch is going to have to step in for him. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Already hit me with a goddamn critical. Alright. Geodude. Switch out? Yes, I will. Once, um, once Abro learns Confusion, I'm gonna have it defend itself. And then, I wanna get Abro to around level 17, maybe? I wanna, I don't wanna, like, have everyone being around level 20. Not yet, anyways. Mainly because I feel like Ivysaur here is a little bit too overpowered already. Right? Compared to the rest of our Pokemon. Then, uh, in like two levels, Magikarp is gonna evolve. Two Scroops. There we go. Right? And I don't want to. I don't want everyone being a powerhouse yet. I want a little bit of a challenge to make this entertaining for you guys. With that said, I'm gonna try my best to avoid these guys because honestly, I kind of just want to grind a little bit and get to Misty, just so that for this session of recording, I can have like a good stopping point. You know, fought a gym later. Need a ran. Two scoops. Gonna switch out for, uh, I'm gonna switch out for the King of the Cat, Magic Cat. Ow. Oh god, that hurt. You got a Magic Carp. I also switched out Splash and Tackle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ouch. That hurt. Oh god, did you get poisoned? Fuck. That's not good. Uh... You got this HM bitch. I'm sorry, Magikarp. <laughs> I didn't want you to get poisoned. Ah, fuck. There we go. Don't get too strong now, HM bitch. I don't, I don't need you up there. You're not part of the team. Oh shit, why'd I say no? I should've switched out for Abra, my bad. I mean, it's not too late, I can still do that. Oh no, Growl. 
It hurts. Uh, Vine Witch not really gonna hurt you. So what the fuck is the deal with Poison Powder? Is it just not good of a move? Because it seems to not affect any goddamn Pokemon that I try to use it on. Oh, come on. Don't be missing Tackle. Cut that shit out. Honestly, I love Pokemon Red and Blue. I love Gold, Silver, Crystal. But I can't wait to get out of the Game Boy Color games. God damn it! <laughs> God, I can't wait to get to the colorful world of Pokemon. Pokemon Emerald. It's not my favorite Pokemon, but stop getting strong, Agent Bitch. You're not supposed to be that strong. Calm, calm down. You're getting too powerful. You're more powerful than Magikarp right now. That, that's something that I don't like looking at. Antidote. Too powerful. We gotta calm you down. I'm off to see Pokemon Collector at the Cape. Cool. I'm still waiting on my call from the fucking vet. They did set around like the afternoon and it's it's like nowhere near it, but most of the time when like doctors and vets talk about like appointment times and stuff like that, it's just a big old lie. Just a giant lie. It's like, don't worry, we'll be there in five minutes. One hour later. Oh, the doctor went out for lunch. Why did the doctor go out for lunch when they're scheduled with me? Why did that happen? Two scoops! Psychic? Oh, not psychic, my bad. Confusion? I'm confused. Now, since I was, since I was kind of going a little bit on a tirade about psychic type Pokemon, I didn't really get to explain <laughs> too much about Abra here. So, all that shit with Abra, right, it's great. But it's also kind of cool when you were a kid on the playground or whatever in school, and you're comparing your Pokemons, and then someone goes, Oh man, but I got Abra, dog. And then my brother fucking plays the game with me, and we traded it because he wanted my fucking Kadabra, and then it evolved into the Pokemon that, that, uh, your rival gets later, and I'm like, what? I'm like, that's how you get that Pokemon? It's like, uh-huh. Switch it on up. Right? So then, if you were lucky enough to have, like, a brother or sister or a friend with a link cable, or if you were just a rich little kid or just a, a fucking whiny little kid and your parents got you two Game Boys, two copies of Red and Blue, and fucking, um, and a link cable. We'd be having some fun with some trade Pokemon. I was not as fortunate. I was a lonely child. I was a lonely child, and my sisters, they all had their own Game Boys, right? Well, they had their Game Boy Advances, which could play Game Boy games, right? And they can still use the link cable, I think. But... But, uh... None of them gave a damn about Pokemon. And it made me very sad. Two scoops. Use you, dude. Oh my god. Stop sending- Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. I wish you stopped sending out you, dude, because I don't want to keep using Kush, you know? I don't want to make Ivysaur too goddamn powerful. I don't want him evolving yet. But Tackle's not really going to do much on a goddamn rock type. So this is my only this is my only choice. And I just don't want Spiro getting any stronger. My goal wasn't to have a Firo. There we go. You got me. Alright, cool. This is why I'm avoiding the trainers, because I don't want to overpower my Pokemon.
and Oddish. Hmm. HM bitch is dead. You got- Oh shit, that was the dumbest thing I could have ever done. I'm, I'm like, you got this, man. Got, wait a minute. I keep forgetting, because you don't have any water type moves and you're kind of useless, I keep forgetting you're not a water type. I mean, I f keep forgetting you are a water type. My bad. The only option is to use Kush again. Actually, you know what? Let me see something real quick, since I'm sitting here fighting you. Poison Powder. Didn't affect enemy oddish. Is it just, like, a hard chance of hitting? What's going on with Poison Powder? What the fucking what? Is Poison Powder crap in Gen 1? I think it might be. There we go, you're down, Anish. How long have I been playing Pokemon? About like an hour and 20 minutes now, <laughs> this session. Fucking, I want to get up and walk around. That's why we gotta get to Misty. Oh, fuck, damn it. Uh, you won't die, right, Magikarp? Right? You won't die. You might die. Critical, you might, yeah, you might die. Ah, you won't die. Oh, shit, you might die. <laughs> damn it. Yep, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Goodbye. Damn it. Did I even send out two scoops? Like, at all? Let me just make sure you're out. Learn confusion, damn it. Ivy Source just getting too overpowered. <laughs> right? I'm I'm too scared of grinding too much. Cause I don't wanna make it I don't wanna make it be like, and then here's this gym leader, and then we beat that gym leader. Here's the Elite Four, you stare at them and they die. Gotta make it entertaining, you know? It's a goddamn Pokemon marathon. We're gonna be going through- You're gonna see a lot of the same damn menus over the goddamn course of a couple of months, right? I'm saying a couple of months. <laughs> it's a lot of Pokemon games, and they just announced the new ones, God damn it. Alright. Can we go to Bill's house now, please? I'm not so jealous. Eh. Whatever. Get out of my way. Bill's house. Is a dinosaur. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, you're a dinosaur. No, I'm not. I am a dinosaur. My name's Bill. I am true blue po- wait, what? I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that- I had a stroke. What's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment, and now I got combined with the Pokemon. Luckily, I just came out in a Pokemon's body with my own conscience, unlike the fly coming out going, Kill me! So, how about it? Help me out here? Yeah, sure, why not? When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell operation. Uh, cell separation system. Cell operation, what the hell? I will trust you, a ten-year-old, with my body and soul. Red initiated, teleporters initiated is a big boy's word. Teleporter cell se uh, se separator. I'm a big boy, I can read words. All right. Yeah, thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to seal my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I gotta thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this will do it. I'd receive the SS ticket. Nice. That's cruise ship SSN is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go in my stead, hmm? 
Cool, thanks. See you later, Bill. So, funny thing. SSN is kind of a mandatory place. Unless you have, uh... You know, unless you have a friend or two Game Boys and a lane cable and two copies of the game. And you trade over a Pokemon that has the cut HM. Because if you do that, it completely negates the uh, SSN. Why did I say negate like that? Negates. <laughs> it negates the SSN and you don't have to, uh, the SS and and. You don't have to um, go on there if you don't want to. Now I'm just gonna, I'll come back and fight these trainers. After we fight Misty. Maybe I'll do it off screen. I'll probably do it off screen. I'll do it off screen. Maybe? Maybe I won't. I can make no promises. I make no promises. But anyways. Here's what I'm gonna do. Now that we have the SSN ticket, the only thing left for us to do is, uh, you know, fight Misty. But before that, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna level up Abra until it learns Confusion and not a level more because I want Abra to fight for itself. That and I don't want my Pokemon to be overpowered as shit. And once Abra learns that, uh, for the most part, we won't really be needing HM Bitch. I'll still carry it around with me. Just in case. You know, because might as well might as well use the Pokemon while we have it. So uh Magikarp, you're gonna be fighting Scoop's battles until it learns something, so you can get some levels too. Actually, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> I don't want a Gyarados just yet, you know? I don't want a Gyarados just yet. I don't want to go into Misty's fight with a fucking Gyarados. Tackle. Let's see, how much damage are you gonna do for me? Okay, yeah. This can work out. Two scoops. Alright, cool. That's gonna work out, so I'll be right back in a little bit after I train up two scoops until it learns its first attacking move. So see you guys in a few seconds. And Sandra's down. Good. Two scoops. Level 16. Confusion? When the fuck do you learn- oh! Okay. I thought you learned confusion at level at level 15 and then you evolved at level 20. All right. Well, that was unexpected. Like I said, I'm not I'm knowledgeable, but not an expert. Okay, well, anyways. Anyways, Two Scoops has now evolved into a Kadabra. Good, because, you know, I was kind of going a little bit over the levels that I wanted to. Right? 800 experience left until you turn into a Gyarados? That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so. Now with this team... We're gonna march our asses on into, uh, Misty's gym after a quick stop at the Poké Center. And we're gonna promptly get our asses handed to us. Alright. Good. Oh shit, I keep pressing- there we go. You know, one of the things I gotta do for this game that I completely forgot. Head to the options button. Click on fast for text. Battle animations are on. Shift. Yes. Is that saved? Hopefully. Just want the text to go fast. I should have done that earlier. Completely. I always forget that Pokemon has a goddamn option menu. Anyways, here's the Cerulean City Gym. 
I save my game a lot. I'm sorry. That's just a habit that I have. Alright. Hello there. Yo, champ in the making. Here's my advice. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water type Pokemon. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon. Or zap them with electricity. So, if you don't have a Bulbasaur, right, and you need a Pokemon uh, to help you out with Misty, hopefully you uh you went and um grabbed yourself a pikachu in viridian forest or you can just head up to where we were earlier and find a bell sprout and just kind of you know finagle your way through that now i'm gonna avoid this trainer you can't avoid this trainer sadly and the reason i avoid that trainer is because again i don't want to be too overpowered while fighting misty right i want to make it a little entertaining <laughs> Junior Trainer, she sends out Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen looks like such a slut. Go, Confusion. Bam, look at that special stat. That was a critical hit too, god damn it. Now like I said, Psychic type Pokemon tend to be, um, tend to be glass cannons, so. God, that was a lot of experience, that was unnecessary. All right. I got hit once, but I'm carrying some potions. Right. I'll heal you up, Two Scoop. Two Scoops! Hiya, you're a new face. Trainers who want to turn pro have to have a po wait, what? Have to have a policy about Poke- Okay. Have to have a policy about Pokemon. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water type. All right, Misty, she wants to fight. She has Star You and Star Me. Both water type. Star Yu's not that much of a problem. I believe Star Yu has Water Gun and Swift, the two things you want to worry about. Maybe Thunder Wave? I don't know, but, and I think Star Yu might have confusion. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this, I don't know. But Star Yu's not your problem, right? Now, because water types are special, uh, water type moves are special, better prepare yourself a little bit, right? 17. Alright, cool. Misty is about to use Starmie. Will Red change Pokemon? No. Level 21. Do not let that level fool you. Starmie is the, you know, Pokemon usually have two to three evolutions. Three evolutions being the strongest of them, of like, you know, the evolution tiers. But Starmie is, uh, Staryu and Starmie's evolution line only has two Pokemon, so this thing is fully evolved. Do not let the level fool you. Level 21 will still kick the shit out of your level 25. So, and Bubble Beam hurts like a bitch. Like that. Starmie also has pretty good defenses. I'm not sure if Starmie's a dual type in this. I don't think Starmie is. But it just said it wasn't special effective, so I'm not sure. So, two scoops is down for the count. Uh, Kush is going to be our last resort. Maybe you can get some pot shots in there. Defense X, thanks a lot. So much for those pot shots. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> there we go. Uh huh. Just, just weaken their health. Just weaken the health. You got it. You got a magic card, but I believe in you. Just eek your way on through it. Got nothing on you. Critical. Good job, Magikarp. Good job. Very kingly of you. The king of cut. Magikarp. You only got its health- almost got its health halfway. About one-fourth, one-third, that's fine. I could send out H and Bish, but I want you- I don't want you getting any experience whatsoever. So, Kush! Smoke him up. Alright, throwing that leech seed out there. That tackle hurts like a bitch. Avoided? Come on. Come on! 
There we go. Vine Whip. There we go. One more Vine Whip should do it. Now, for some reason, Starmie's just using Tackle. I feel like Starmie has another attack up its sleeve that it would usually use, because I remember getting my ass kicked. But that's just, you know, one of the worst Pokemon you can fight in, in a gym leader battle. There's many other Pokemon later down the road, as everyone is currently probably remembering their Vietnam Wars with fucking Miltank and goddamn Whitney. Level 25. Nice. Wow, you're too much. Alright. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. Red got $2,000. Thank you. I'm a 10-year-old. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even Outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new patches. You can also have my favorite TM, TM11. TM11 teaches Bubble Beam. I like how I had to talk to you for you to tell me that. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. I will use that on Gyarados when the time is right. Oh, by the way, if you beat the gym leader without fighting gym trainers, uh, they don't, they don't fight you. So if you, if you don't want to miss out on some XP, make sure you fight them before you fight the, um, Gym leader. Anyways, this is a great stopping point. We just got the Cascades badge, beat Misty, ran up and down the Golden Bridge, got a new party member, and they instantly evolved in the same episode, right? So next time, we uh, next time we take a look here at the world of Pokemon Red and Blue, we'll be um making our way to Vermilion City along the way. Hmm. Am I going to get a new partner? No, I'm not going to get a new partner along the way. That's not until further down the road. But, you know, along the way, obtaining, I guess, technically a new partner. I mean, it's the same Pokemon, but still. I'm going to be getting Gyarados. And, uh, yeah. Going to show uh, Kadabra off a little bit more. I'll evolve Kadabra when I feel like it's the appropriate time. Don't worry. I'm not going to instantly trade it over, so don't worry about that. Anyways... Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the Pokemon Marathon so far. I know it's only been about like two or three episodes, but hey, don't worry. More is going to build up, and there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing in the background while recording these and stuff like that. And hopefully I can get these out in a timely manner. So, you know, as of right now, thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you click the like button. It really helps with notoriety for the channel. And lets everyone know, hey, I'm here, I'm making videos, and maybe you might want to stop by and, you know, watch it. If you, if you think this is something you're into, right? Also in the description below, it's a link to my Twitch. Uh, right now I only stream on, on, um, what, what are my stream days? Shit. <laughs> right now I only stream, um, Tuesday and, uh, Tuesday and is it Tuesday? No. I stream fucking, uh, what is it? On the East Coast, fucking Monday and Wednesday nights? I don't know. There's the schedule on my Twitch. Why the fuck am I even trying to remember? Yeah, there's a schedule on my Twitch. Right now, we're doing Persona 4 Golden and, uh, Ace Attorney. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. And also, you know, link to my Twitter and stuff like that. Anyways, this is a long ass outro, so. Once again. I want to say thank you guys for watching, and uh, if I got any Pokemon facts wrong or anything like that, feel free to correct me. I know YouTube loves correcting me on the smallest things possible, so <laughs> there's that. Anyways, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Take off.